Welcome to SpecView Secrets, the video tutorial series that helps you use SpecView human machine interface software with Watlow products. In this installment, you will learn how to open a sample configuration, change the COM port selection, and change the instrument addresses. In this session, the computer is connected to an EasyZone PM controller via a USB to 485 converter. The converter has been installed as a serial port named COM6. Like all EasyZone products, the PM supports the standard bus communications protocol. This model also supports Modbus RTU, so on the setup page's communications menu, I've made sure the protocol is set to standard bus. Also, the PM standard bus address, or zone number, is 4. When you launch SpecView, normally the first thing you see that allows you to make choices about what to do is the Configurations Found dialog. Click Stop Countdown to give yourself some time to look at the options. On the left is a list of all the configurations available to run with SpecView. Any configurations you have created appear in this list, and there are also quite a few sample configurations included with the SpecView installation. Scroll down and select Watlow EasyZone PM Standard Bus. Then click Go Online Now. SpecView opens the PM sample configuration and enters the runtime mode. If your controller is not connected to COM1 and set to Zone 1, SpecView will not be able to communicate with the PM, and three X's are displayed instead of current data. So we will need to edit the SpecView configuration to match the communication setup. From the File menu, choose Configuration Mode. To change the COM port setting, from the Setup menu, choose Swap COM port. In the Swap COM Ports dialog, the list on the left shows this configuration uses COM1. In the unused COM Ports list on the right, select the port to which your controller is connected, then click Swap. SpecView gives you a chance to adjust the settings for the COM Ports, but since we're using Standard Bus, and with Standard Bus these settings are predetermined and fixed, anything we do here will be ignored, so we can just leave these settings alone and click OK to proceed. Next, to change the zone number or communications address for the EasyZone PM, click the Variables List button, the one with the red V on it. The Variables List lists all the variables available in the configuration. The variables are organized by instrument. The first instrument is always the SpecView variables. EasyZone controllers, such as the PM, may be represented by one or more instruments, depending on the model number. The PM sample configuration supports the profiling option, so there are two instruments, the controller instrument and the profiling instrument. To change an instrument's address, select it and click Properties. In the Add Rename Instrument dialog, you can rename the instrument, change the COM port on which SpecView will attempt to communicate with it, and change the address. Because my controller is at address 4, I'll change the address from 1 to 4. Click Rename Only to save the change. Clicking the minus symbol next to an instrument hides the instrument's variables. From SpecView's perspective, the PM controller and the profile instrument are essentially separate entities that just happen to have the same address, so we'll have to change the address in both of them. This sample graphical display window, or GDW, includes a notice about changing the COM port and addresses. Since I've done that, I will delete the notice. Save the changes to the GDW by clicking the Save button. Click the Runtime button to return to the runtime mode. Within a few seconds, the X's in the display fields are replaced with current data, and the trend starts to graph points indicating that SpecView and the controller are communicating. We hope you found this installment of SpecView Secrets helpful. We'll explore some topics just touched on here in more detail in other installments.